from different walks of life, different geographic areas, who all come together to try to make a change. And we don't do anything in this building, and certainly nothing happens in Washington, without the backing of working people, without a partnership. We need you at our back. We couldn't have gotten Richard's bills passed this year without the backing of everybody in the labor community, the great Panthers, the seniors. You probably, to many of you don't know that our current Secretary of State, when he did his voter registration regulations, made a deal with the Bush administration that resulted in LA County alone in 43% of newly registered voters between January and March not getting put on the voter roll. You're going to find kids without shoes that are probably illiterate, that will probably never graduate from high school, and will certainly not have adequate health care. That's in their own state. You think they give a damn about Californians? No! At least Rome took care of the Romans before the fall of the empire. We're going to bring Walmart around to treat people with the dignity and the respect that they deserve. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it through solidarity. Because solidarity works. 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 Bill Angelis. Thank you so much, Jacques. Thank you so much. And Deborah and Richard, it's great to be here with you you today. And also with Art Pulaski, our great leader. Thank you so much, Art, for everything you do. Let me start off by saying this. That we have 70 days to go until Election Day across this country and here in California. And over the next 70 days, we're going to stand up for our values of fairness and opportunity and a quality of chances in this economy. We're going to fight a campaign of principle and passion. And come November 7th, all across this country, the voters are going to reject the Bush-Schwarzenegger agenda and put California and America back on. Yeah! A lot of people are counting on us in the campaign you're waging and the campaign we are waging in the weeks ahead. Millions of kids who deserve and need the best education in the world, they're counting on us. All those young people with dreams of going to college, they're counting on us. All those families who have no health care, whose children can't see a doctor when they're sick, they're counting on us. The millions of people who go to work each and every day, working full time, sometimes in two jobs, just to get by. They're counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. This campaign you're waging to wake up Walmart, to wake up America, 
goes to the core of the battle that's before this country. Under the policies of George Bush and Arnold Schwarzenegger, we've seen the wealthiest and the big corporations prosper while everyone else is left behind. You know, the president and the governor keep talking about how the economy's growing, but you and I know it's growing if you're a big corporation. It's growing if you're a multi-multi-millionaire. But if you're a hard-working Californian, your wages are stagnant as the cost of health care, as the cost of college education, as the cost of gasoline is going through the ceiling. The fact is, health care premiums are up 12% a year. The cost of sending your kid to college is up 75% from the day George Bush came into office. Gasoline prices have more than doubled. But hey, the economy's not been tough on everyone. The Walmarts, the Exxon Mobiles, they're doing just fine. The oil companies are making $350 million a day. And you know, there's one industry that's doing really well. The lobbying industry has more than doubled. Never before have we had this kind of special interest influence in George Bush's Washington or Arnold Schwarzenegger's Sacramento. It's time to reorder our priorities. It's time to set things right. It's time to end the gravy train for the Walmarts and the Exxon Mobiles of the world and stand up for hardworking people who are building the wealth. a couple of choices. We can keep going down the Bush Schwarzenegger low road. Low wages, no health care for our people. Cutbacks in education. Or we can take the high road to prosperity. Where we give a hand to middle class and working families. Where we invest in the education of our children. Where we help good businesses forge the high paying jobs of the 21st century. And you know, we got a model to look at. Look at what's happened under George Bush and Arnold Schwarzenegger. The national and state debt have climbed by trillions and billions of dollars. College costs are up. Health care is more, affordable, more expensive. People are losing their health care. But we have another model. We can do what Bill Clinton did for this country. We can balance the budget. We can close corporate tax loopholes. We can give a hand to the people who most need a break. I'm here today to say, it's time to quit giving special breaks to the big corporations, and it's time to give a break to hardworking people. And that's why, if you help me become your governor, we're going to give a break to middle class families. We're going to cut their taxes by $600 a year so they can do more for their families. If you help me become governor, we're going to roll back college tuition and fee increases. If you help me become governor, we're going to require large employers like Walmart to provide coverage for their workers, and we're going to make sure every child in this state has health insurance. It's time, it's time to wake up. You know, there are 46 multinational corporations with a billion dollars or more in revenues doing business in California who are paying no state corporate income tax. Any of you paying no tax? <laughs> Just checking. We got a governor who keeps protecting those breaks. College tuition fees are up thousands of dollars, and we got a governor who says that college tuition was too low when he came into office. Any of you think that it's too low? No. So let's do this. Let's stand up. Let's fight. Let's work every day for the next 70 days. Let's win back the state house and let's once again put California on the march. Thank you so much.